Hey folks, it's me, Michael Bach, your diversity dude, and this is Monday Morning Musings. So it may surprise you to hear that I want to talk about hockey. No, not hockey. Prime Minister in blackface, obviously. Totally what I'm going to talk about. And I hesitate talking about this. I'll be totally frank. Um, because it's not about me. I'm not a racialized person. You figured out I'm Whitey McWhiterson. But at the same time, considering what I do, who I am, I have an opinion, shockingly. So, first things first, when I saw that photo, I was gutted. Just stabbed through the heart. And it wasn't that there hasn't been racism and in this campaign. I mean, we've seen so many candidates, uh, they're um, uh, making, historically making racist comments, Islamophobic comments, homophobic, transphobic, you know, it's been a cornucopia of not vetting the candidates. Um, but that it was the prime minister was a bit hard. Partly because I'm, I'm not his biggest fan, but at the same time, he's done more for diversity and inclusion than any prime minister in the history of this country. And so that was really hard to take. And as I've listened to all the interviews, you know, they have been bringing on some wonderful speakers um, from different racialized communities. And I'm really pleased to see that, that it's not some idiot like me white mansplaining this away. And I believe me, that's not what this is about. Um, I struggled if, if I could forgive him. And then last week I was doing some training um, with uh, the Ability Center in beautiful Whitby, Ontario, great organization. And when we're talking about things that an individual could do in order to help create an inclusive workplace, is one of them is remember that no one is perfect. And when I said it on Thursday night, I went, all right, uh, he's not perfect. He's not. The Prime Minister of Canada is not perfect, shockingly. Um, he's had some hits throughout the year, and this was 20 years ago. It is what it is. We have to move on from it as a country. I think more importantly now, though, is I, I want this to be the seed that grows into a conversation about race and racism in this country. Because we have seen it particularly in this campaign, and I think it has a lot to do with Jagmeet Singh as the leader of a, a federal party being out there on the campaign trail and hearing some comments from people who are self-identified NDPers who want him to take off his turban and be normal. Um, we've been hearing a lot of racism and hopefully now we can have a dialogue. So, I guess my message to Mr. Trudeau is good apology, thank you. What next? Actions speak louder than words. And that's what we need to see now. And we shall see how that plays out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope uh, you have a fantastic week. Remember to connect with me on my other social media platforms. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You can find me at Diversity Dude MB. Also, remember to check out my podcast, Talking to Canadians, available on Apple and Google and Spotify. And also, you can go to talkingtocanadians.ca and check out those links. We've got some fantastic episodes. Um, most recently, I interviewed Selena Caesar Chavan, a former liberal MP. Um, great conversation. You can check that out. Also, last but not least, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can do that by clicking on the link, which I suspect is now on my face. Um, and uh, that way you'll get reminded every Monday morning about my new episode of Monday Morning Musings. Thanks so much. 
And I will see you next Monday for another episode of Monday Morning Musings. Bye.